Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the continuation of demand forecasting methods. So the third method which we'll be using is other methods, guys. So basically, other than the statistical and survey methods, these will be the four different methods. So basically, these four methods you are really popular, guys. So the first method is nothing but Dilip method, guys. Dilip, or it can also be said that expert opinion method from the name itself we can say expert opinion so an expert or a business consultant will be taken and he will be estimating our current situation and he'll be predicting the future so in this method in which the estimation the demand on basis of the opinion of an expert or distributor other than the salesman and ordinary customers so salesman and ordinary customers will not be included and some other guy will be included guys so i hope everyone got a small idea on this okay so let us continue so test marketing Test marketing is nothing but this test marketing. So test marketing, we will be observing it commonly, guys. So there could be some products. Without any notice, they will be coming outside and they, bec they will become popular. Fine? Okay. So test marketing. So this test marketing is a method used to know demand from a both new product and existing product. So we will be using this method for both. So controlled experiment. So the best example for control experiment is games, guys. So before releasing the games all over the world, they will be releasing in some particular areas like Canada, Australia, USA, like that they will be releasing them in a particular regions where they will be testing the game. So that is comes under the control experiment. So this is only for the new product similar to testing. This is also similar to testing where here th there will be a controlled experiment done guys, like pricing and advertisement will be done. Fine. So the next method will be judgmental approach. So just by observing someone will be judging it. In future, this will be in loss, this will be in profit, you'll be getting this much profit, you'll be getting this much loss, like that, fine? Okay, so I hope everyone got a small idea on this. So in the next lecture, we'll be going through supply analysis, guys. Thank you, thanks for watching.